what is up welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming my updated skincare routine i'm really excited to be filming this video because a lot has changed since the last time i did a skincare routine i had just a breakthrough or my skin was very bad that's what i'm filming for you guys today i just got a bunch of new skincare products i've tried them out for a couple weeks now i like them they work for me and i'm going to show you guys exactly what i use morning and night for my skincare as always let me know what video you guys want to see next and my social medias are always linked down below if you want to keep up to date with my life when i'm not posting videos that was the hardest thing to say ever like i literally messed it up five times anyways we're just gonna get started with the video i hope you enjoy here is my 2019 skincare routine let's go hello and welcome to my bathroom i'm gonna show you guys the products that i wash my face with First, I have a couple of products that I have to wash my face with. I obviously don't use them every single day, like I just use one face wash, but I'm gonna show you anyways. I also did a skincare haul on my vlog channel, so I'll link that down below if you want like an in-depth of everything. Three different types of face wash. So the first one I have is the Youth to the People Superfood Face Wash. I haven't quite used this yet because I'm just gonna use one at a time, so then I have face wash for a long time. I also have the Bestie Jelly Cleanser by Drunk Elephant. I am using this one right now. I absolutely love it, it's the best. And I also have the Origins Cheeks and Balance Frothy Face Wash. This is really good. So recently I have been using the Drunk Elephant face wash, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. But sometimes I'll change it up and I'll use between these two. For the morning time, I like to use this one here. So I'm gonna wash my face with this. This one also is the smaller size and I really like how the lid is because instead of having to open it, you literally turn this and then you squeeze it into your hand. I used to use my spin brush a lot when I washed my face. I still do, but sometimes I'm just really lazy, so most of the time I just wash it with my hands or it's nighttime and it's too loud. I'll link my skincare stuff down below if you're interested. I had band on to get my hair out of my face. I'm gonna look really ugly, so I apologize. Tell me that isn't cool. Like that's, that's good. I like that. a week or twice a week depending on how my skin is and how I'm feeling I will do a face mask today I'm going to be using my Dermalogica face mask I believe this is a chemical peel that's what the lady told me when she sold it to me really good for like acne and scarring and everything like that I have a lot of scarring on my face I had this really weird time where I had a lot of I'm doing this without a mirror I had a good phase where I had a lot of breakouts on my face um, earlier this year and I've never been one to have a lot, a lot of pimples. Like obviously I'm human, I get pimples. I don't have like the acne gene in my family, like nothing like that. And then I started to get back acne, which like sucks, but it's gone now, it's just scars. But my face just scars so easily. I couldn't do it anymore, like it was just not going away. Like I was trying everything, I was doing face masks. I like washed my face, I just tried to use little products on my face. It just wasn't going away. It was worse on my back. I decided to go to my doctor and she gave me a prescription cream that helped get rid of it. And then I also went on birth control, which really helps. I know a lot of people um, who have struggle with like breakouts like that and they won't go away. They go on birth control and we decided that was the best option. I'm not saying that's how you get clear skin, but that's what helped me and a lot of people, especially with like my back issue. Really, really cleared up my skin. I feel like my skin would have still been really, really bad if I didn't take it. That's another reason how I got my skin to clear up. I didn't do it anymore. Like, I just went to my doctor and I was like, hey, um, I don't know what's wrong with my skin, please help. So yeah, I'm not saying you have to take medication to get rid of your pimples. It's definitely a you choice that's just what helped me also i have this dumb pimple here i am so sorry if that's all you can look at but it was really small barely visual i decided to pop it and now here she is i leave this face mask chemical peel on 
for about 15 minutes and then I wash it off. It's called the Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. It helps with all the good stuff. I'll be back after I wash this off my face. See you later. I just washed off the face mask. I have a couple that I use, but recently I've been using that one. Next thing I do is tone my face. So I'm using the Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. That is a handful of a name. This is just going to take off the excess dirt and oil and if there is any makeup left on my face. And then apparently toner also helps to set your other products that you put on it like your moisturizers so they work better when you tone your face. I also love that this toner is an alcohol base which means my face isn't going to feel super dry after I use it. The next product I use is the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Serum. It's never too early to use anti-aging products to keep your skin looking youthful and fresh. I used way too much of this. Anyways, I put this on right after I tone it. I know you're technically supposed to pat it into your skin. I'm trying out this sample from Sephora, which is the Drunk Elephant Serum. I will leave a link to it down below because I forget what it's called. Just put a little bit of this on my face. And this one is like an oil serum. All right, so the last thing I do is use the Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I love the smell of this. It's so citrusy. And I basically just apply this all over my face. This smells so good. It makes my face feel so moisturized, so soft. When you apply it and even after, origin products are like natural for the most part. Makeup blends so nicely after I do all this to my face. I only use this in the morning because it hydrates and wakes up my face and my skin. So that is everything I do in the morning for my skincare. So I will see you guys after, at the end of the day, when I do my night skincare routine. So. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, what is up? Welcome to my bathroom once again. So I couldn't really do a talking portion for this video because everyone in my house was sleeping. So I just start off by washing my face with this blueberry cleanser. So this is like a makeup melter, also a cleanser. It's really awesome. It smells super good. I always look crazy during the process of it. And then I use my Drunk Elephant face wash again and I wash my face like so and i always do it for 60 seconds because that's what i heard is good to do God, there's thunder i'm scared that was so loud my house is shaking and then i'm using the same toner and serum that i used in the morning And then I'm using this Drunk Elephant Antioxidant Face Oil and I got this sample from Sephora and apparently it's also good for scarring. And then I use my Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. Cream is really good for overnight because it just keeps it really, really moisturized. And then the last thing I do is use my Kate Somerville sample that I got as well and it just is a scar diminisher. And that is my complete 2019 skincare routine. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what video you guys want to see next. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.